Our whole thing, again, on rebound, we're not the biggest team, but as we tell the players all the time, it's not how big you are, it's how big you play. And so imagine now in your gym or in our gym, we only, we only have one court that we practice on. We don't have two courts to practice on. All right, why don't you guys just sort of stand over here, if you don't mind, all, all three of you guys, all four of you guys. All right, we may have a two-minute drill and a 10-minute clip. We may have a two-minute drill here, a two-minute drill going on in the center circle, and a two-minute drill going on there. And then we'll rotate, we'll rotate. We're trying to set the tone early in practice. Give me two guards, please. All right, this is a two-minute drill that we call tug of war. Okay, this is a two-minute drill we call tug of war. And this may be going on now in the middle of the court while we have two other drills going on there. All right, so you have the basketball. All right, grab the ball. All right, and, and so the whole idea in, in, in tug of war is very simple. All right, Stance, bend your knees a little bit, be basketball player. What's your name, baby? Kevin. Kevin and? Hayes. Hayes? All right, Kevin and Hayes. All right. So when I say go, Kevin and Hayes are going to try to rip the basketball out of the other guy's arms. Go. So he, Hayes now, he get what we call, you know, aggressive counseling. Don't let him do that, Hayes. You know, don't let him do that, Hayes. Be a little bit tougher than that, all right? All right, and again, we'll do this to two, four guys. Ready? Go. Now it's 1-1. One, one. Beat you up a little bit. Oh, the ball's yeah. <laughs> the ball's fault. <laughs> That's great. They've been using these balls for freaking a million years, baby. It's never the ball's fault. Go grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Grab it. Who wants a basketball? Now, see, if I, if it was me, I'd get in there. Like that. All right, that's what I would do. I'd get. See, you get closer to him, it's harder for him to get good leverage. Already, and our guys know that. Go. And again, usually they're a little bit more competitive than that. Ready? <laughs> Go. Give me you two guys, give me you two guys. <laughs> Here we go. Ready? Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Who wants a basketball? Go! <laughs> Got nice kids, Coach Priest. These are really nice kids. Ready? <laughs> Don't let take, you know what? See, it's still for us, we find out who really wants a basketball. All right, you really want the basketball? Yeah, I'll get it. Yeah, okay. Ready? Go. All right, and again, that's the drill we use for that. And again, so usually a little bit more competitive. The other drill we do is, is we call rip it. We call this drill rip it simply because, you know, we believe that when the ball goes up in the air, it comes off the back. What's your, what's your name, baby? Jason. Jason and? Micah. Mike. You, Micah? Yeah. All right, so put your hands up here. That the ball is always going to, so we, we tell our players, you can't just sort of grab for the basketball. We want to get, and we want to take a little six inch rip with the basketball. We do any drills, we throw it off the backboard, make that little six inch rip. So we're going to throw the ball up. Again, two minute drill. All right, it's good. All right, ready? All right, who wants a basketball? So he wanted a basketball a little bit more. Get up. Here we go, here we go. Two guys, two guys, two guys. Here we go. Who wants a basketball? Go up and get it. You got to give it two hands. Go up and get two hands. Uh, he wanted a basketball a little bit more than you did. That's not ready. Go get it. Go get it. Come on, come on, come on. Get it. A little two minute drill now. Rip it. You got to give it two hands. Let me give you a hint, too. One thing we do, whenever we do rebounding drills, you guys have seen those training aids, those big balls? We don't use those for shooting drills at all, but we use them for rebounding drills because all of our players like to grab the basketball with one hand. All right? This makes them grab with two hands, using big balls every time we do it. Go up and get the ball. And again, we find out in this situation not who jumps the most, who wants the ball the most. All right, and right now he wants the ball a lot more than you. 